Hey guys, this is Silverwolf20, and with the next couple of battles, I'm actually going to be testing some new Pokemon that I just finished training. So this first test is against Pokepimpin from Chatango. He leads with the Swampert, and I lead with Salamence. Now, I just went for the Draco Meteor, hoping for the quick one-hit KO before this thing was able to set up Stealth Rocks. But... It actually survived and did not go for Stealth Rocks. It actually went for an Ice Beam. And unfortunately for me, Salamence could not survive it, so Salamence goes down quickly. Now in comes one of my two new Pokemon, Polyrath, who is a physical tank. But it does not want to KO with Brick Break, but it does get the two hit KO. I'm like, okay, that works for me. Now, in comes Gengar, and he uses Psychic, and Polyrath even takes that extremely well, but Rock Slide does nothing to this thing. So, I decide, you know, let me save Polyrath for later, let me switch out to Gallade, my special wall. And it takes the Psychic very well, but Gengar actually goes for Shadow Ball and takes Gallade out with the help of a critical hit. Which I'm figuring Gallade could have survived if, without the crit, but I go into Jolteon and I substitute, hoping he was going to switch, but he doesn't. So... <clears throat> he doesn't, so I get... So I get the Shadow Ball off and I'm able to take out Gengar. So I'm like, good, that threat's out of the way. Now in comes Sceptile, figuring that he could take any electric attack I throw at him. So he goes for the Leaf Blade, it breaks my sub, and I'm like, well, that's okay, because I'll just use Hidden Power Ice and obliterate your Sceptile. Right? 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 It lives. And it leaf blades, and I was expecting Jolteon to go down, but it actually lives, which was awesome. But the Sceptile has quick attack, so Jolteon wasn't able to get off a second Hidden Power Ice. Now comes my other new Pokemon, Infernape. And I'm able to Sword Dance, and he goes for Frenzy Plant, helping to do as much damage as possible. And it does... It brings me down to low green, but I'm able to get the Flare Blitz off and take out Sceptile. So now in comes his Jolteon, and I know I'm not going to be able to outspeed it, so I just go for the Mach Punch, hoping to one-hit KO, but it barely lives. I mean, it's able to get the Thunderbolt off. So Infernape goes down, my other new Pokemon. It's a Sword Dance Life Orb set, and in comes Azumarill. And I'm able to Aqua Jet Jolteon away. Now in comes Skarmory, and I know Aqua Jet's not going to do jack shit to it. So I switch to Polyrath, my physical tank, and I rest up while Skarmory begins to fly. And I know that Polyrath can take physical hits all day, so here's the start of a little stall war between Polyrath and Skarmory. Now, this Polyrath is actually a Rest Talker with Rock Slide and Brick Break as his two attacks. I might change that in the future. I don't know, but... So, the Star Wars going on. He's flying just to keep doing continuous damage. And I rake up and I Rock Slide. And he flies. There's really not a whole lot to say for this point. It's just going to be me constantly resting and him flying. 
throwing out occasional brick breaks, rock slides along the way. And I sleep talk, I get rock slide, and I actually make Skarmory flinch. I go for the rest for the sleep talk again, but I get rest and he's able to roost. So I believe it was at this point that we both decided let's just make it a slug fest. And if I remember correctly. Yeah, here's where we decide to make it a slug fest. I switch out to Azumarill and it flies and it does nothing to Azumarill. But Skarmory outspeeds Azumarill and is able to avoid the first superpower. But the second one, watch this. Going down, going down, going down. Skarmory gets obliterated by Choice Band's superpower, which was excellent. That stall war is finally over. He brings in Charizard, and I know locked into the superpower I can't do anything. So I switch to Polyrath to take the Dragon Pulse like a champion. And then Charizard gets a second Dragon Pulse off. It gets a crit, but Polyrath takes it extremely well. I'm able to get the Rock Slide off. And down goes Charizard. So good game, Poke Pimpin. This was a lot better than our last match. There was a 5 0 Salamence near sweep. But tell me what you guys think of my two new Pokemon and any changes that can be made. And this is Silverwolf20 saying see you guys later and take care. Bye.